Hello guys, it's Goldie X here, and today I am here with Ratchet and Clank 3, or known as Ratchet and Clank 3, up your arsenal in the USA. This has been such a long time coming, this is by far my favourite Ratchet and Clank game of all time, I absolutely love this game. When I first played this game, I used to put hours and hours and hours into this game just because it was such an addicting Ratchet and Clank game. This is literally the defensive version of Ratchet and Clank in the whole trilogy. Yeah, this is literally the, our third installment of a game should be done. Let's go press start and let's go find a game, new game, and yeah, I think we'll overwrite this. And let's go start the game. Oh, I actually can't wait to play this game. This Ratchet and Clank game is so fun. Haha! <laughs> My Blargy and Snaggle Beast devours your mutant swamp fly. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Check and mate. What? Th 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 that's cheating! On the contrary, the rules clearly state that the Blargian Snaggle Beast has an allergic reaction to swamp flies that last two turns. Ooh, it is on again! Your luck is extraordinary, sir. But do you lose as gracefully as you win? I would not know, Maximilian. I never lose. There is a first time for everything. Agent Crank! <laughs> Is secret agent. Hmm, shocking. Bring the car around, Jeeves, and mind the ejector seat this time. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for more secret agent clank. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. We continue our live coverage from Velden. Just hours ago, the planet was attacked without warning by a terrifying alien race known as the Tyranoids. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight. But they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Darla Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. But Veldin is in a Solana galaxy. Oh no, not the gravimetric warp drive. The untested gravimetric warp drive. The one you built from bloggy and scrap metal? Coming? We are doomed. You were saying? I stand corrected. I just hope we're not too late. And Ratchet is back home on Planet Vel. Okay, Greetings, before. Client 91802, and welcome back to the Solana Galaxy. Okay, if we do anything else, let's go to options and turn the subtitles on, wherever that is. Here it is. Subtitles one, turn the music down a tiny bit. We'll definitely turn the effects down a little bit because they can be really they do really are they really are a bit loud. Okay, let's go. Here we are, back on Planet Vel. Remember this planet from the first game? The funny back in his Ratchet. In this game sets place. It takes place on the same galaxy that the first game was taking place in, which was the galaxy world was in the Sloaner galaxy. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Hey, look! It's a new sergeant! Huh? Hey, Sarge, you can have my gun. There's too many of them! We're all gonna die! 
Press circle to fire your shock blaster. Oh man, I love this game so much. This is... I might have slagged off Ratchet and Clank 2 a tiny bit in the Ratchet Clank 2 Let's Play, but Ratchet and Clank 2 is still a great game in its own right. I might have slagged the story and the characters of Ratchet and Clank 2 a little bit while playing through the game, but I still think Ratchet and Clank 2 is still a great game in its own right. Yes, that somebody is me. You got a volunteer? Here, Sarge, take this. We'll cover you from back there. Yeah, let's take this thing out. Oh, I love it. this game has so much replay value. For me. Like Ratchet and Clank 2, Ratchet and Clank 2 did have a bit, of, did have replay value, of course, with the battle arenas and the crystal grabbing. But this game does have that. But what makes this game have a bit more replay value is that you can upgrade your weapons much more in this game. Instead of upgrading the weapon once, you can actually upgrade the weapon at least five times. And eight times in the challenge mode, actually. Yeah, that just shows how much replay value this game has for me. I really love this game, it's so good. What I love about this game, though, Ratchet Clank 3 really does improve one thing I think Ratchet Clank 2 really screwed up on, in my opinion, which was the story and the characters. This, this game improves that massively. This game has a much better story and has much more memorable characters. I do miss Angela from the second game. I wish she did make it. I wish she was in this game somewhere. Although, if you watch the ending cutscene of this game, you will see some Ratchet and Clank 2 characters appear in that at the end of the game, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys if you haven't played this yet. I just love upgrade weapons. It's, quite, it's a bit easier to upgrade weapons in this game, but you can upgrade them more than once, which so you can upgrade them at least four to five times, which actually offers so much replay value for me, if you ask me. Let's go over here, let's go, ooh, we've got more of these horrible the Tyranoids, they are, they, they are pretty much the main enemies in this game. If you play Jack 3, if you've got enough precursor orbs, you can actually get a, in the battle, you can actually get like a Ratchet and Clank gun course where Jack and Dax can shoot Tyranoids in the gun course, which I thought was actually pretty cool, I loved that. I never showed that in Jack 3, because I didn't really, because like, that wasn't really story purposes, but in Football 1 he died. Yeah, of course Nanotech makes a return in this case where you can upgrade your Nanotech again. Which is pretty cool, you can upgrade your Nanotech a hundred times. I, I have beaten this game on challenge mode, but that just shows how much time I invested into this game. Like, you know, how much I love this game, how much time I invested into it. You can upgrade your Nanotech 200 to 200 in challenge mode, and you can upgrade your weapons eight times in challenge mode. Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? We do not go up here. Yeah, this bridge looks familiar for the first game. A bit blown up though, isn't it? Okay, let's head up here and let's see, let's see if there's any company up here. No, I think we're all clear. Hey, look who it is, Captain Quark. Remember him from the last game? What's the situation? The Noids have fallen back to a base in F Sector. We have orders to go in and take him out. F Sector? No way. Game over, man. We're all gonna end up as scrap metal. Get back in there, trooper. We've got a planet to save. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, here we go. Time, time to turn the tide on Veldon. Of course, Ratchet wanted to return to this to this galaxy to save his home planet Veldon. When Ve when Chairman Drek tried to attack Veldon in the first game, Ratchet was not going to allow, and the same is going to apply for this game. No matter what attacks Ratchet's home world, Ratchet's going to do whatever it takes to stop it. Ratchet and Clank 2, I will not say Ratchet and Clank 2 is a disappointment for me. Gameplay-wise, it was a very fun game. I still thought it was a good game in its own right, of course, but I do think it did have a few flaws here and there for me to call it one of my favourites, unfortunately. Yeah, I do think Ratchet and Clank 1 is actually a better game than Ratchet and Clank 2, just because of the story and the characters in that game. Now, Ratchet and Clank 3, however, improves every aspect of that from Ratchet and Clank 2, and in my eyes, this is easily the most addicting Ratchet and Clank game I've ever played. This game is so good. This is Ratchet and Clank at its finest, if you ask me. I've rambled on in Ratchet Clank 2 how much I love this game quite a few times, and you'll see why as we go through the game. I can't think of one planet I actually hate in this game. I actually can't. I actually loved every single world you got to explore. Yeah, I actually did all the get all the weapons you could obtain, and yeah, there was never a dull moment in this game for me. Actually, I will admit, this is easily in my top 10 favorite video games of all time list. 
This game would easily make it into that list because this game is so good. This is by far my favourite Ratchet and Clank game, and this. I've got more nanotech sweet, and this is de this game was definitely in my top ten favourite games of all time because this game is so good. I love it. It's so addicting. It's such a mem memorable game as well. In my opinion, this game is literally on steroids compared to Ratchet and Clank one and two. Even Ratchet and Clank two, this game feels like it's on steroids for me. Yeah, this game literally improved the story so much, and I think it feels a bit better in the gameplay department as well. It doesn't feel much different gameplay wise, but is it just me or Ratchet feel a bit smoother to control? Ratchet doesn't feel much different, but it does feel a bit smoother to control in, in some aspects. Okay, let's go talk to these rangers. Sir, we have a transmission from the president! How are things on the front lines, soldier? Is is that secret agent Clank? Greetings, sir. We are here to help. Well, this is an honor, and I see you brought your chauffeur along. What? No, no. Hold on a second, sir. Agent Clank, we must stop Dr. Nefarious. As you may know, only one man has ever faced him and survived. I've just received a top secret report on that man's whereabouts. Here, take a look. On tonight's episode of Nature's Mysteries, we examine the Florana tree beast. Deep in the dense growth of Florana's Jambu forest lives a mysterious creature. Or maybe he doesn't. It's... One of nature's mysteries. I've seen him run right through our camping site. He was buck naked, screaming and holding a banana. Or, or maybe it weren't a banana. It, it could be. One of nature's mysteries. Legend tells that this mysterious creature is actually one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. Shamed by his recent past, he is now. One of nature's mysteries. Tune in and find out the answers. We need you to find this man. The fate of the galaxy may depend on it. Are you sure this is the guy you're looking for, Mr. President? Yeah, he seems like kind of a, you know, wacko. You may be right, but he's the best chance we've got. I know you boys won't let me down. You can count on us, sir. And here we are, Planet Flanora. Can I shoot them from here? No, I can't. I've got some bolts though. No, I didn't get any bolts. Those are just particles from the blast. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video. So that would really help me out a lot. And if you want to keep up to date with all the Ratchet Clank 3 videos uploaded to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe. It would really make my day to do that. That means so much to me. And I'm so happy I'm finally playing my favourite Ratchet and Clank installment. This has been such a long time coming. And next episode, we're going to be exploring this world to find one of the greatest superheroes who ever lived. That's who people think he is anyway. But is he the greatest superhero who ever lived? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in the next episode. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is Goldie X, and I'm out.